lovely roads around here. I keep seeing signs from Sligo and still Susie has taken me 40 more Bundoran. She's already bringing me to Bundoran, is she? Probably is the old Tony Gall to bring me down to Sligo. It's lovely scenery around here. Look at them. And the fine weather makes such a difference. has just cheered me up now compared to the miserable morning I had this is just look at that
just majestic. That looks impressive, doesn't it? Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Well folks, Susie has done it again, uh, brought us in there, lovely Glencar Road in from Manor Hamilton all the way over to Sligo, onto the main Sligo Donegal Road, for some crack notion she took, she decided to take us the Donegal direction away from Sligo when we came to the main road, which brought us away from where we were supposed to be going to, we're supposed to be heading out towards Strand Hill along the coast. She took us to the other side of the um, of the bay, so I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get this point because when I checked this morning, safe crossings to Coney Island was between I think 11 this morning and 6 this evening. It's 20 past 5, nearly half 5 now, and we're still not. We still have to get in through Sligo and out towards Strand Hill and find the place. So I don't know, we'll, it may not be photographable because this is the July brief for the Iron Boat Association and it's to take a photograph of you and your bike at one of the concrete bollards which forms the, uh, the causeway markings from the mainland out to Coney Island. Um, and uh, 1845 I think is when they, these concrete bollards were installed and they were installed because there was a spate of um, drownings in the 1840s people walking out to Coney Island at low tide and getting caught out and getting lost and drowning when the tide came in Coney Island, two and a half kilometers of a causeway, all marked by these pillars. And this is the Iron Boat Association's brief for July. These were put here in 1845 as a result of a number of drownings that had happened. 
Uh, Coney Island is accessible at low tide. You can walk and you can drive across, kind of like Omi Island, um, which is another, which is a photo rally point. But uh, a number of people had drowned here in the 1840s, and the solution was including one of the the owner, the owner of the island, whose name escapes me, William something, William Doran maybe. So the solution was to put these markers, these way markers, set in concrete all the way in a straight line out to black head I think it is as a marker for the, the causeway, the safe route to walk or drive from the island to the mainland yeah it's pretty cool pretty cool I don't think I've thrown up too much sand on my bike in the, the effort of getting out here um, we're way, 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 way behind. We've had... Oh, Jesus, look at that. How did they... We, now, the road we came in was between those two valleys there, and the valley there between those two mountains. And it's just an incredible sight to come in there. The vista on both sides is just incredible. I don't even know that the uh, the GoPro is, is picking this up enough. Like, it's just incredible you see that shit over there where the sun is gleaming off the roof that's the uh, headquarters for rescue 118 which is that helicopter and the coast guard for this area very very cool very very cool people so that's the july brief done we're heading now to about 40 minutes away to the split rock in uh, further west in Sligo. And I have no GoPro remote control, so I'm back on the voice commands. Ooh. Trying to pick a line here that's going to get my bike the least wet. Now. That was a cool spot though. If we'd come a little bit earlier now we could have driven out to the island but or if that was our only point that we were trying to get to today we could have driven out to the island but uh, we've got two more points to try to get to today it turned out to be an absolutely incredible day and up there on the top of that hill is the cairn of Queen Maeve well worth a walk up there because there's some view from the top of that So we're about 35 minutes away from this point and after that then we're heading south and the next point should be on our way on our way home so it's been a, a cracking day so far just cracking <laughs> 